Guten Tag. Invisible man here. I th thought I may as well run my mouth on, uh, you know, why I play this game. It's a legitimate, you know, question, I think. You ask yourself, why do you play this game? And <laughs> you gotta be honest with yourself, you know? Um, like many of you, I started this game out. It's not like you care about who Panic is. You don't care about who Freedom is. You don't care about who Tyrant is. You don't care jack shit about who the top company is. I don't know anybody who starts a game out thinking about who the top is. I don't know about anyone who starts the game out thinking, oh, I'm going to be the top at this. Except for maybe, you know, a small minority. I start this game out and I just play the play. Um, learn how to play it, because obviously I'm a noob. I don't know anything. I need to get better. So I gotta challenge myself and also do a lot of things that, you know, will get me killed. <laughs> I didn't care about KD. I didn't really care about score. I didn't even know that shit really existed um, until I pressed the, was it the U button. I'm pretty sure it is. You know. I don't care about personal prestige and all that. And it was fun because I played with, you know, a few friends. And they enjoyed it. And we all had a gay old time. Fast forward in time, we get a little more in-depth with the community. And we start to learn the truth, the ugly truth about it. Um, pretty much everybody hacks. I'd say 80% of the community was full of hackers. Um, I used to think it was gear. I used to think, oh, AP gear makes you tank it, or your special gear makes you tank it. But then, then I realized that was all bullshit. Um, so, fast forward again, Letigar is now in freedom, um, leaving me behind to fend for myself. And he's always wanting to challenge himself, and he always wants to be, a, be able to fight with the best, to achieve the best results. And that's just how Legar is. And I was like, well, oh, fuck, man. Because Freedom just said, join us. He didn't even need to try out or anything. So they got him on board. And he's like, hey, you want to see what it, uh, um, like Freedom tryout looks like? And it wasn't really a tryout. It was just more like people wanted to see how good he was. So he fought against Lionheart and I think it was GGAI. He stomped them both pretty hard. And, uh, they tried to kick me from the room. I forgot who it was. They tried to kick me from the room. One of those three. I was just watching. I wasn't interfering or anything. But, uh, pretty much, I just was like, man, I wish a company would recruit me. Um, I wasn't very well known. I guess the name Invisible Man is still ringing true today, most people. <laughs> I mean, they're all like, Letigar, join this company, Letigar. <laughs> like, you know, I'm sitting right here. You know, you could just say it to be kind. Invisible man, you're good too, you should come. Uh, but anyway. So, I spend the next few um, weeks with a fucking inferiority complex and just prove, try to prove to everybody, all the top company members, that I'm much better than I look. So I start picking on people, start trying to kill Metal Tank, Tojo, and I'm, I'm not geared at all. I don't have any items, really. And, uh, so, I'm, I'm doing pretty good. You know, I'm still getting top of the scoreboard in a lot of these games. And I had, I had really a lot of drive to become the best. And after a while, I was just like, man, I really don't want to settle for anything below top 10. And one day, Tyrant invites me, and by accident, I join. And, uh, basically, from that moment on, I was like, this is a pretty good company. I like these guys, you know. Casual, laid back, and Sonic does not like Pixma or Reginald. Neither do I. Not that I have anything personal against them, I just don't. Every time I, every experience I've had with them has never been pleasant. Reginald, I don't care about so much. Pixma is a fucking douche. That guy says, never says anything nice, 
and I've never been impressed with any of, any of the skills I've seen when fighting him. I mean, he runs away a lot, and then pretty much just snipes at you. He's annoying, but he's not not very good. He barely hits me. I, anyway, I repeat myself a lot. Okay, so you know, join Tyrant, and we start company battle. And Sonic's like, "Wow, you're actually pretty good." And he doesn't say it like, wow, you're so special, Invisible Man. You really need to be on our side. You know, he just makes it as casual note. I'm like, yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter how good I am or you are. Because at this point, we're trying to establish ourselves as a team. And uh, I stopped caring about my own personal skill and worked more on what I can do for my teammates. And, uh, you know, I think the results speak for themselves. Within the first, uh, after a couple weeks, Ledigar quit Freedom and said, Yeah, I just don't like these fucking kids. Like, right off the bat, he already got into a spat with um, the Salt Shot. And so I said, Why don't you just join Tyrant? He's like, but They're rank 18. I'm like, Yeah, so? I mean, you were in the rank 3. Were, were they that impressive? And so I got Ledigar to come to Tyrant just to test it out. And I said, yeah, if you don't like it, just leave. And surprisingly enough, like I told him, I don't think you'll mind anyone here. And we all pretty much got along. I mean, Ledigar didn't like Sonic at first, but now they get along pretty well. And, uh, you know, it took us a little while to work on being a team. Um, we took on Freedom right off the bat. Actually, we took on Freedom's alts of Wego. And we beat them twice. They had AP mines and shit. Really annoying. But, uh... Then we took on the actual freedom. And... You know, they beat us pretty good. The first couple of matches. We won Port S. We And we got really close to winning Port O. Um, it's online. You, can, you guys can look it up. But, uh... It was, uh... Basically, after that... We started talking, me and Legger started talking about the essence of teamwork, and I said, you know, you just gotta drop your ego if you don't, if we wanna be good at this game. Um, like, rank, at this point, I don't think it matters. We got really close to beating the rank 3 company um, on on these matches. Not Mag-M, because Mag-M was our worst map. And then, uh, we fought against Mercenary Ida with their best players. Um, Intrusion, Miss Two Shot, Dangerous, and Krish. And Krish was a lag switcher. I mean, we were just like, I, I was scared. I was just like, man, we're not going to be able to fucking kill these guys. But we did on their home map. Uh, we did on Mag L. It was pretty easy. We got those ancient runes, and we were just like, oh god, they're whipping our asses. But we pulled it together as a team, we got through it and we beat them. And we just said, well, we just beat the rank 2 company on their own home turf. One of them's a lag switcher. And, you know, we're not even, we're just starting out as a team, and learning each other's ins and outs. Right off the bat, I was just like, ranking doesn't matter. <laughs> kill death ratio, it didn't matter what your kill death ratio is at all. I mean, my kill-death ratio suffers a lot sometimes, but that doesn't take away from my actual abilities as a player. And I just started saying, you know, I need to just fucking do that, stop caring so much. And it, it was a hard transition for me to go from that mindset of, oh, get kills, get kills, don't die, get kills. And uh, eventually I ended up reverting back to just playing the game and enjoying it. You know, now I'm... You know, Freedom's gone. I mean, Tyrant's gone now. And, uh, well, we can get back anytime we want. But, I. The, the company had changed. All the people I really liked left or got busy with life. Um, the company is mostly kids. And me and Ledigar are just. Even Sonic. We, we just had. We didn't enjoy, you know, having some of the people around. Because they didn't listen, they didn't go on raid call. So our glory days were past us at that point, and Ledigar and I split just to you know, take a casual look at the game and play other games. And so now we, we do crazy things. <laughs> I know, if you look on some of our videos, we do a 2 on 4 against some Italian guys that lag a lot. Juan! Barely. Um, 
we did a three on four against tank. We actually tried to get a two on eight going just to see how it would go. You know, I hold all kinds of I, mean, I hold events sometimes. Only in two, but I'm trying to think of other ones. But basically, I'm you know I'm trying to play the game in a different way than most people, and that's in a way where I can just fuck around and enjoy it. And you know, sometimes I do really good, sometimes I do really bad. It's just part of the game. And as I look around the community, you know, I get asked yourself the question, why do you play this game? Because when I started, I didn't care about which company was what. I didn't care about my kill-death ratio or how people would perceive me. I didn't care um, about having such high standards to the point where, you know, I have to dodge other people. I have to avoid fighting certain people because I'm scared of them. It's just a game. Killing and dying is as easy as, you know, it's just part of it. It's like oxygen. You know, even Tojo dies. Even Letigar dies. Even Sonic dies. There are times when the people that are, you know, regarded as masters in this game do so horrible. And it's just part of it. And nowadays, you know, I do what I can to make myself entertained. And I just stay away from the politics, stay away from top companies. In fact, you know, I just, me and Letigar didn't really want to join any other company. I consider Tank and potentially Helsing or VN Legends. Um, I don't know, VN Legends, Vietnamese, I'm, I'm Asian. Um, Letigar, basically, I mean, we've, we've been to the top, we've faced so many people, and we, we got, to, got to the point where we were just trying to troll the shit out of Panic so they'd come back, and they almost did, but then they, I think they chickened out or something, I don't care. Um, then we fought against people like Wopa Company, and we fought Freedom many times. And it's just, it wasn't fun playing against them, because they only play Magnet Line M. They do the same cheap tactics, and I just said, this is stupid, and I don't like this. So, I just, you know, wanted to do something that would stimulate my mind instead of doing the old boring uh, routine of grinding Mag M, planting mines, and all that crap. And if you ever watch our videos, I mean, me and Led, I think we have the most fun in this game. Uh, same with Sonic. I mean, I don't think there's anyone really that enjoys the game as much as we do. And we don't even have to be killing people to enjoy it. It's just fun to mess around. And I don't know, I just think back to when I started this game, you know, where everything was just so free, you weren't held back by any kind of social expectation, you weren't held back by any kind of fucking personal inhibitions you might have. And, uh, you know, it's just sad for me to see people spending all their time trying to get those numbers up. Still, how boring is that to sit there and kill alts over and over again? It's just not fun. What's fun is taking on four people and actually winning by the skin of your teeth. You know, I like this game because I've had so many laughs on this. Um, and, you know, just hang out with friends. It's nice. And that's just something that I think that people need to get back. And I think they are slowly. But, you know, it's still out there. I mean, people like uh, Convict, who always seems pleasant, you know, dodges better companies and you know, I just think it sucks. Rage quits when he's getting beat up. I don't know. I understand when you're not having fun when you lose too much, but you just gotta learn to change your mindset, guys. Anyway, see you around.